In this video tutorial we're going to talk about RF digitizers. I'm going to use the Proteus Arbitrary Waveform Transceiver which we can see here as an example. It has a 5.4 giga sample digitizer which gives us an effective digitizing bandwidth of 2.7 gigahertz which you can see here and on a lucid signal generator that I've got connected to it I've got an RF frequency of 1.125 gigahertz at about 0 dBm feeding the digitizer. On the display here you can see we have the time domain waveform and you can also see that we have the frequency domain waveform down here. So let's go ahead now and change the frequency on the analog signal generator. And we could choose something higher than the first Nyquist zone of 2.7 gigahertz. So I'm going to enter in 4950 megahertz, about 5 gigahertz. And you can see our carrier now has shifted from here down to here. If you think about it, it follows the rules of Nyquist. So our sample rate set to 5.4 giga samples per second. We change the center frequencies to 5 gigahertz and what we end up with is a signal here at 400 megahertz. If I just invert the display and change the axis you can see now that it lines up pretty well in the second night quiz zone with exactly the frequency that I typed in on this line here. And then we can do the same again going up another night quiz zone 6525 megahertz. Okay now you can see the signal shifted again down and uh, what we need to do now is uninvert the spectrum and just adjust the uh, markings along the bottom and you can see now 6525 megahertz is just there and now you see uh, in this third night quiz zone that the amplitude of the signal has slightly gone down frequency roll off in each night quiz zone is related to a, a sine x over x function so let's take it higher to 99225 megahertz and now you can see that our amplitude has gone down a little more but you know we can compensate for this so I've changed the axes and inverted the spectrum again you can see the DC levels at the top now and not at the bottom so I, I originally had the range set to max on our analog to digital converters so I'll set it to minimum you can see that's given us an improvement of the gain here. So we're at about minus 18 dBm down from the zero dBm that we had originally, but we're up at 9.225 gigahertz. And finally, let me take it all the way up to 10, 3, 5, oh, megahertz, so that's 10 gigahertz. So you've got a signal here and you can see the roll off is a, is a lot more prominent but we are digitizing the signal at greater than 10 gigahertz with a sample rate of 5.4 giga samples per second. So this is one of the many ways that you can use multiple Nyquist zones to digitize signals higher than the first Nyquist zone which would be 2.7 giga samples per second because we're, we're, our clock is 5.4 giga samples per second. Thanks.